are you too busy to take a break? You feel guilty if you want to take a break, but you want to be productive. You want to get things done, but your to-do list is just endless and it never finishes. And then tomorrow you go to the same to-do list and, and it adds up and it adds up. And when you're watching this, you're probably having like 10 different tabs open on your computer. I get that because I used to be exactly the same. And when people were telling me like, Rachel, take it easy, take a break, slow down. You're doing too much. I'm like, that doesn't help me because I want to get things done, right? If you're like me and you're ambitious and you want to get things done, you want to be productive. And I found a hack. I really found this technique, which is so helpful to get like a hundred times more productive. And I'm so happy I found this because I'm going to share it with you and stay till the end because I have a great gift for you as well. And this has really helped me because what happened was like my to do list, my to do list was, was really long and every day I added and I added and I added and I got tired of like my sheet was getting longer and I just couldn't scrap things up the way I wanted. And it just feels stressful. It feels exhausting. In fact, it drained me because the longer your to do list, the more you feel like, Oh, you know what? I didn't do anything today. That's exactly how I felt. I felt like, what have I done today? You know, maybe I just, I just scratched off like two or three things out of the 10. And then the next day you add more and it just doesn't feel productive. It doesn't feel, in fact, it isn't, it doesn't feel like I was effective. It just, it just, I really don't like that. I don't like that feeling because I want to get things done. And so if you don't know me, by the way, I'm a clarity coach and I quit my corporate a few years ago. And so now I help people who want to quit their corporate or their nine to five, who are ambitious, who want to grow their own business, but I never, ever take the leap of faith. I plan it out. I take the steps so that you can grow your side business or your dream life. And then you can finally quit your corporate. And so whether you are right now in a job and working to grow and get clear on something else that you want to build up, or you already have your own business, but you feel like overwhelmed with a bunch of things to do and you don't know how to be more productive. This is really, really going to help you. I am so happy I found this technique because all you need is one hour of focus, but that's not it. It's more. Here's the thing. A lot of research has been done. And a lot of research has been done. And when I say a lot, I'm talking like 2 million data points, or in other words, 2 million participants who participated in this research to find out what makes the most productive task. If you want, what makes you the most productive? And then they found that the most productive people on average, they work for 52 minutes at a time, and then they take a break of 17 minutes. Now these are averages. So ideally you work for 52 minutes and you take a 17 minute break. Now this is an average. So maybe you will work for 55 minutes or 57 minutes and your break will be 10 minutes and another time, maybe 15 minutes. But the average is really the 52 17. Now what you do is during those 52 minutes, you focus, you go all in and you focus on one thing, one task. And that is what I did wrong. I had like 15 tabs open on my computer and I was doing a little email and suddenly I thought of something and like, yeah, you know what? I really need to create this thumbnail and I really also need to work on my online course and I need to make a script for my next video as well. And so I was like jumping from one to the other, but it also has been researched that the more I think I'm being a multitasker and I can do it all. No way. Because you open one tab, you put your focus on that and your brain has a focus on, let's say your email, you jump into another tab and your brain like is still like a little part of your brain is still in that email while you're already working on another tab, another script, let's say, or a course. And then you suddenly think of messaging someone. And so you jump to another tab or you jump to your phone and you message someone, but your brain is still leaving a little piece of attention to that email that you just left a while ago. And then it's still a little bit to that course you were doing. And now you're putting your brain into, and then you're continuing to another tab. So your brain is all over the place. And while you think you're multitasking, in fact, you're just losing so much effectivity, so much efficiency, so much productivity. It is crazy. And 
you think, yeah, I can do it all, but no, you can't. You really can't. So the moment I realized this and the moment I found this research, because there's a lot of videos out there, there's a lot of research done about productivity, but for me to get things done, it's like, okay, you know what? Now I'm going to focus on creating the script for this course, like really full on, nothing else, no phone, no email, full, full, full focus. Do you know how much you can get done in 52 minutes or 55 or whatnot? It's crazy. So when I really focus on that's the one thing I'm going to do and then take a break. And then afterwards, after that break, maybe you continue to the same task and you go another hour on average onto that task or you do something else. That's up to you. And now maybe you're going to say like, yeah, but what if I'm really in the flow and what if I really, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to take a break because I'm really into something. That's great. You don't want to lose your train of thought, but guess what? If this is your train of thought anyway, and you take a break and you go back after five or 10 minutes or 12 minutes, it's your train of thoughts. So you can just catch up and continue, but we are not made to sit on a chair for four, five, eight hours a day. No, you have to lift up your butt and do something. So here's the thing from now on, I want you to give it a try and give yourself one task and focus full on for 52 minutes and then take a break. Now, maybe you're in an office and you can't just go outside or maybe you're at home or maybe you have kids. I don't know, but you can always find time to take a break and the break can be getting a coffee, getting some water, but then not right by your side. Get up, get your butt off that chair, um, get something to eat, a healthy snack, not sugar, a healthy snack, a piece of fruit or something for lunch. Maybe just go outside if you can and just go around the block. Maybe, you know, things like that. Just completely shut off your mind from that task and then go back to it. I, I, I've been doing this and I love it. It's like, okay, today I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And I just go full on, full focus, no distraction whatsoever. Just tell people around you if you're not alone, like, leave me alone. I need this because I was visiting my parents the other day and I said, look, I need this this one hour, I need you to not disturb me. And they did. And it was fine. You know, just, you know, tell the people around you if you're not alone. So try it out, whatever you're working on, if it's your business, if you're, you know, trying to leave your corporate, like all the people I'm helping with and like, yeah, but you know, I work my job and I can't do this. And when am I going to find time to, to work on my side business? You can, if you do it like this, if you have a full-time job and you go home at night or you have the weekends and you go like this in blocks of 52 minutes with a 17 minute rest, a break, and you fully focus, you can get a lot done in just a few of those blocks. Really. And there's a lot of techniques out there like the Pomodoro, like the 90-90, like there's so many other things, but we have this biological rhythm of rest and activity. And if you hold on to that and you move into that biological rhythm, that's that's awesome. That's amazing. So for me, it really works. And I really hope that it will help you as well. And I mentioned to you that I have a great gift. And that is that if you're overwhelmed right now and you're thinking, yeah, but I have this job and I don't find time and I have so many ideas and what should I focus on? That's exactly what I do because I help people gaining clarity and next steps. So if you want to leave your corporate, do not take a leap of faith. Do not just take the leap and jump because you want to plan it out and take steps. And a lot of times we don't know what steps to take. So that's exactly what I help people with getting clear on the next step and the next step. And so that first step I want to offer you by having a virtual coffee call with me and we do that and I, I help you cr create that clarity and create the next step. I love doing that. I've been doing it, you know, so many times and it's just amazing. So you can book and get the link right below and, um, just check the resources because I have another gift I write below um, this video. And I'm so happy you followed this. I want to read your comments. I really want to see your comments. Have you tried this 57, um, 52, 17 rule, golden rule of productivity, of workflow? Let me know. And if you're willing to try it, also let me know. So comment everything right below. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, please, because I have every Wednesday new videos for you. So there's a little red button, click the button, hit that notification, little bell right beside it. And I will see you again next week for a new video. Video.